All right, what's going on everybody? Welcome to On The Stoa. My name is John, and on today's video, we're gonna be talking about Seneca's work on the shortness of life. Now, The Shortness of Life is a book written by Lucius Annaeus Seneca the Younger, and essentially Seneca was a Roman Stoic philosopher and a Roman statesman. He tutored the young Nero Claudius Caesar, and yes, it's that Nero, the one who burned down Rome. If I could summarize the book itself in about two points, it'd be the following. The first point is that Nature gives people enough time to do what's really important and the individual must allocate the said time properly. And then the second point is that in general, time is used best by living in the present moment and in pursuit of the intentional and purposeful life. Now, there weren't any chapters to this book, even though you might find some in modern translations, those were added later to facilitate easy reading. So when you're reading the original work, it just continues from start to end, which honestly is really good because you get to see the work in its entirety. You get to see the work, how it relates from one paragraph to the next. So if you're reading a modern translation and it has you know chapters in there, kind of ignore the chapter numbers for just on the side and just remember that this was just one letter from start to finish. So for chapter one, Seneca essentially writes to Paulinus and he says that people think life is too short. He writes the following, quote, most human beings, Paulinus, complain about the cruelty of nature because we are born for a brief span of life and because the spell of time that has been given to us rushes by so swiftly and rapidly that with very few exceptions, life ceases for the rest of us when we are just getting started, end quote. He also writes to Paulinus later in the chapter or in the section of this letter of the essay that people, at least at the time, argued that if Hippocrates, one of the greatest doctors in history, said ars longa vita brevis, that life must truly be short. But Seneca counters all these points and he says that life isn't exactly short, but rather we waste the time, thereby making it seem short. But then Seneca, towards the end of this section of the essay, he argues in a more roundabout way that we have to carpe diem, we have to seize the day. And what does this look like? Carpe diem is essentially you're focusing and you're completing on what really matters in this moment. Say you have these long-term goals, right? Well, you're taking the time to now put in the steps, put in, completing those step-by-step -step processes to complete set goals. And you're also, you're not giving into, to, into vices. You are not embracing those vices. You're not embracing the short-term dopamine pleasures that they give you that essentially wastes time and provides no, no existential meaning, no long-term benefit to your life. And you are essentially, you're, you're deciding to focus on what really matters. You're deciding to complete what really matters and what will allow you to live a more fruitful, virtuous, and meaningful life. In this aspect of carpe dieming, of seizing the day, it connects towards the end, or essentially to the end of this section of his essay, when he writes the following, quote, just as when ample and princely wealth falls to a bad owner, it is squandered in a moment, but wealth, however modest, if entrusted to a good custodian, increases it with use. So too our lifetime extends amply if you manage it properly, end quote. Now there's one aspect of this quote that I think it's important. It's this concept of modest wealth and increasing said modest wealth. Most of us aren't necessarily gonna be wealthy, insanely, insanely wealthy by the end of our life. We might have a modest amount of wealth or we can increase it a little bit, but essentially with this modest amount of wealth, right? There's this aspect of because you don't have a lot of resources, if you want to increase it, you'll need to put in more work and more work equals more time. And so with this time, you cannot afford to squander away uh, your life doing you know random things that don't provide any benefit to your life. You have to be able to find ways to wisely invest it to complete and increase this modest wealth, whatever this wealth is, be it, you know, physical wealth, like monetary wealth or goals or language or whatever things that you have that you consider to be valuable to increase it, you need to spend more time. You know, as, as the adage goes, you know, we don't get any younger and, you know, the time is ticking towards our death, towards our end. And the more time we will, the more time we waste, the less time we'll have to actually dedicate to the things that truly matter and to increasing those goals that we have to increasing those things we consider valuable to the levels that we'd want or to the levels that will leave a good legacy for us and for our, our, our children and, and, and whatnot. 
So with this chapter, you know, it's um, Seneca is essentially saying, you know, we waste too much time. We waste too much time and then we get surprised by life. And in order to not do this, we have to manage our time wisely. It's important that we that we shift our perception to see that life isn't short. We are making it short. And in doing so, we can figure out the ways to maximize our time, to carpe diem, and to put in the effort to increase the wealth of things that we consider valuable. But I want to know what you guys think. So let me know down in the comments, you know, what what is the importance? Why do you think it's important to seize the day to maximize your time effectively? And what are ways that you guys can maximize the time in your own personal life such that you can achieve the goals and to maximize and increase the things that you consider valuable? And that's gonna be it for this video. Thank y'all so much for watching. I'm gonna put down in the comments a the written out part of the of the first chapter so that way if you don't have a copy of the book, you can read it for yourself. And for those who are wanting to buy the book, I'm using the CDN Costa translation. It's by the Penguin Publishing Company. So you can easily get it on Amazon or any other bookstore online or in person. That's gonna be it. Thank y'all again so much for watching. I'll see y'all in the next video. Take care of yourself. Be well and carpe diem. Thank you.